we're going to get hit for copyright with the music, but I don't care. That's so okay. Music. No, 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 leave it on. It's okay. It gives part of the atmosphere because you've got good tunes playing. Yeah, it's do. important. So, so George, what, what kind of a place have we got here? Uh, so Soho Whiskey Club is a private members club in Soho. Excellent. Uh, name is on the tin. Uh, we've got 650 open bottles of single malt whiskey. And they're all over here. Uh, all what a selection. Yeah, we've got great. It's fabulous. Just the Glen Farkless alone. That's Look all at the family cask. So every single one. Holy crap. Oh, I didn't even see that before. Well, nearly everyone. Nearly. Well, that's... There is that's a 1952, which is that half. Oh. Um, now, if I, was, if I was to have a dram of the 1964, what, what would that cost me? Is that all? <laughs> 400. Is it 400? Yeah. 400 quid. That's um, the price of a bottle of that. And also the 64, I think, is one of the two that you can't get anymore. It's very rare. Yeah. So that's like $800 Canadian for one dram. Man. A bargain. Next time I come down here, it's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> and you've also got a terrorist out there. Oh yeah. If you're, into cigars. if you're into cigars, have a smoke out there. And apparently, I'm told that the chairs are more more comfortable out there. Yeah. And then if you go down there, you've got another wall. Yeah. This is quite a club. Oh man. Oh yeah. The Calvin. Yeah, Belvenis, Cardus, Balakins, Glenfiddich. Uh, Aberfeldy's. Wow. Uh, Glenmorangie, yes. Quite a selection. A lot of independent bottles, so I doubt you get out there. I see that. Wow. We're a massive fan of indie bottles, aren't we, Jason? Because we'd like to drink what nobody else can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, so it was a was a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me in here. That's a pleasure. Yeah, no, I also have a whiskey pin. A pin, even. Yeah. Wild. Thank you. I got my own Soho Whiskey Club pin. That's going to go on my lapel immediately. Well, yeah. Uh, here we are from uh, Soho, London, UK. Uh, I forget what day it is, but what a trip I'm on. I often ask people in the UK why they don't uh, review a lot of uh, Canadian whiskey. And here's the reason. There's this shop with all this whiskey. And if you look over here, over here, you see those three there. In the middle we have Pike Creek, we have Lot 40, and we have Weiser's 18. And that's all of the Canadian whiskey. It's quality Canadian whiskey, don't get me wrong, but that's the whole selection of this great big shop that has hundreds and even, well, could we say thousands? Thousands of whiskeys. Thousands of whiskeys, and there are only three Canadian whiskeys in this shop that has thousands. How the Canadian whiskey brands to start sending more stuff to the UK. They should. When we said the, 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 uh, um, the quality ones, yeah. we yeah. used to have the Canadian club, we have the Crown Royal. Yeah. We have Crown Royal, Canada Club. I, I think we're out of it now. But yeah. We have the Crown Royal. But there are many expressions of Crown Royal yeah, and of many c expressions of Canadian Club. I think the 12 year old would do very well here from uh, yeah, Canadian I Club. This was our tasting tonight Deanston 12, Virgin Oak, 15 year, 18, and the French Oak. Exclusive. Distillery exclusive cast strength. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, the 12, yeah. yeah, well, the 12, yeah. Guess where we are. Yeah, guess where we are. This is Milroy's in Soho, London. That's Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'm nobody at first. That's Jim. Jim. Don't lie, he's got the best moustache in the whole of London. See? <laughs> and me, I'm your humble quig. Turn in the bar. Turn in the bar. Oh, the bar, yeah. Selection. Got a little selection. Very good little selection. Yeah. 
Food quick. 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 Food